This is a follow-on video to when I was trying to chrome my uh, top yokes on my GSXR. I've decided to um, spray them matte black. Um, I say all I've done is roughed them up a little bit from like the last video when I was trying to chrome them, and um, I've just given them a, a quick light coating of this. Um, this is the spray I've been using. Um, so I'm just going to give it a couple of coats, light coats, and then we'll see how we get on from there. I've decided to move it to this location because it's uh, be easier to spray. Um, so yeah, the first coat's dried. I'll just leave it about 10 minutes between each coat. And uh, when I put the coats on, I put on very, very light coats. That should be enough. I think a hair's gone in there. I'm going to try and get that hair off. I'm going to see what I've got. Alright, trying to get that hair off. I like because the uh, coats are soft, I've actually tatted it up a little bit. But hopefully, because I'm going to put about four coats on, so hopefully, when I put the next couple of coats on, it should cover that up pretty nicely. Uh, we'll see how it gets on. I mean, if it turns out rubbish, I'll go back to powder coating it. I'll just strip the paint back off again. But uh, let's give it the next coat, see how, see how it gets on. Okay, so that's like three uh, light dustings now, like light coats. I'm gonna go for a bit of a wet coat now. Um, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna let it dry for, I don't know, 24 hours, probably come back to it tomorrow or something. And that bit that I've roughed up a little bit, I'm gonna lightly sand it over and then give it another two coats um, before I put a, um, two coats of um, you know the top coat on the clear like um, <clears throat> acrylic um, lacquer um, I'm not sure how it's going to turn out it looks okay it's not fantastic but we'll see we'll see how the final product looks I was, I was um, so impressed with the finish on the um, top yoke I've decided to um, do the forks in the same matte black. The only thing that I've done on the top that was a bit of a mistake, I tried to rub it down. Uh, that's a no-no. Uh, the matte paint without the lacquer on it just peels off. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to lacquer it. I was going to stick a sticker on the top anyway. I've got this uh, chrome sort of top part that I'm going to put on. But uh, the forks have come out like quite nice. Um, I suppose I've got to wait for the lacquer to come to see what the uh, final um, outcome is. But they definitely, definitely need lacquer in. If you use that matte uh, paint, it just like scrapes straight off. So I'll wait for the lacquer to come, give them a coat of that and see how they turn out. Now the base, close, base coat's uh, dried, I thought I'd just do a nice close-up just to uh, show the finish. So it's a nice, it's a nice flawless finish. I was saying once I get the, the top coat on to protect it, um, then it should be finished. Hopefully it will last well as well when, once I'm back on the bike. Um, I'll see. Proof's in the pudding I suppose at the end of the day. So I ended up sticking on this um, carbon fibre like sticker on the top. Um, looks like something got caught underneath it there. You know what? 
that it really bothered. Um, like I say, I'm going to stick a top coat on this. Uh, hopefully, the top coat will sort of disguise it. Anyway. Right, you might have to bear with me in here because it's a bit noisy. Um, I'm actually in the boiler house at work when it's nice and warm. I want somewhere nice and warm to put this uh, the lacquer on. Uh, and I've gone for the uh, the same brand, like matte lacquer. Um, I've just given it one real light dusting already. Um, I'm going to give it another dusting now. I'm probably going to give it about three coats. Um, I'll give it a coat, give it um, about 20 minutes to dry, and then I'll come back and show you the, what it looks like. Right, this is after four coats of uh, lacquer. I'm really impressed the way it's come up. So there's a little bit of a, a bit of a lump there, but that's nothing to worry about. I'll focus. Well, so that's the end of the video. Um, it's the first time I've ever really tried to do anything like this, and um, it's turned out really good. So, yeah, if you're thinking about tightening up your um, top yokes, I recommend doing it yourself. Um, on the next video, I'll show the forks, because um, the one thing I'm gonna do though, I'm gonna leave it for about, it says it hardens in 24 hours, but I'm gonna leave it for about, about four weeks. For it to, you know, properly hardened, um, and I suppose the, the proof is in the finish when it's on the bike and I'm using it to see how long it lasts. But um, I'm sure I'll do an update towards the end of the videos. Anyway, thanks for watching, and um, until next time, bye.